Laura Spencer here with Tuts Plus. Today we're going to talk about how to customize your Gmail interface with themes. Let's get started. We're going to start by going to the settings icon in the right of your screen and click the little arrow. The drop down menu displays and you want to click the themes option from the drop down menu. A window opens that displays various images and graphics that you can use as a theme. These are predefined and you can just scroll down until you find one you like and if you want even more you can you can click the random or the more images and even more themes will display. I happen to like the little ninja theme so just for fun let's apply that one. So I click on it and you can see that it's changed my Gmail interface in the background, but the change isn't permanent until I click the Save button. And now I have permanently changed my Gmail interface. But what if I didn't want to use one of the predefined themes? What if I wanted to use one of my own images? Well, you can do that too. Let's go back to the settings icon, bring down the drop down menu, and click the themes. And instead of clicking one of the themes, you'll click My Photos. Now what comes up here are photos that you've either used before or you've used on your Google Plus social media account. I want to upload a photo from my desktop, so I click the Upload option. Then I click Select Photo from your computer. And the photo is on my desktop. And it's this photo of a rose, so I'm going to click on it. And I click Open. And there it is, my first option. And you can see it's changed my background, so I want to save that. And there it is. The rose has been applied as my new theme. But I can make a few other changes to my Gmail interface through the Themes menu. Let's take a look. I'm going to click Themes again. What I want to do now is change the color of this text box. You can see that it's white. Um, it looks pretty bright there. Maybe I want to make it a little darker. So I'm going to click on this text background icon that looks like an A. And I choose dark. And there it is. The text box background has changed. And once again, to make the change permanent, I click the Save button. That looks pretty good, but I'm not completely happy. What if I could darken the edges of this image a little bit. Let's see if we can do that. Once again, click the settings icon, go to the themes box, and pick this little icon that looks like a picture frame. And it brings up a pop-up with a slider. And the further to the right I slide the slider, the darker the edges become. I like it really dark, so I'm going to slide it all the way over. And you can see that the edges have darkened, leaving the center light. And once again, to make the change permanent, I click the Save button. There's one more change I want to make on this. This is kind of a, a photographic image. It's sharp and, and somewhat crisp and realistic looking. What if I wanted to make it more abstract by blurring it? I can do that too. Once again, go to the Settings icon, click Themes. This time I'm going to click what looks like a little box of pixels, which is the Blur icon. And it brings up another slider. And the more blurry I want the background, the further to the right I pull the slider. Let's make it quite blurry. And you can see that my image has blurred. And to make it a permanent theme change, I click the Save button. And that's it. That's what we've done to change our Gmail themes and our Google interface. Once again, this is Laura Spencer for Tuts Plus.